Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. It is a cloudy, very cloudy um, Thursday morning. Um, there are a bunch of pieces I wanted to show you outside, but that's not happening, so we're gonna have to show them inside. Um, and when the sun comes out, hopefully tomorrow, I'll maybe include them in the next video. So a few things I want to say, um, I'm so close, so close, I can taste it. I'm so close to 100K. Um, I should be hitting it within the next day, if not by the end of today. We'll see, um, but probably tomorrow. But I'm super, super excited. So thank you to everybody who has joined my channel, subscribed, hit the notification bell. Um, thank you so much for all of that. And thank you for your continuous support. Um, I couldn't be more appreciative. Um, so because of that, I'm going to be doing a 100K giveaway. Uh, which means I've got a few prizes to give away. Um, all the details and the prizes um, will be announced um, in a future video coming up when I hit the 100K. Um, but just in a nutshell, there's going to be um, a free painting um, where the winner gets to commission a piece from me with certain with the colors that they want. Um, there's going to be a $100 Loli Vefi gift card to give away. There is a crystal resin um mini kit not this but a mini kit of crystal resin to give away um i also have a beautiful charcuterie board with a beautiful ocean resin pour on it from uh, a good friend of mine um backwood designs and i will like again show pictures and tell you guys all about that and then i also have uh the portrait from ben martin who did my portrait of juno so he has offered graciously offered to do a free portrait for a winner so again like i said just uh be an upcoming video with all the details and the rules and you know all that but you can't win if you're not subscribed you must be subscribed to my channel uh in order to be part of the giveaway um so i showed you guys this piece in my last video um and i got a lot of feedback on it so this was um a pittsburgh steelers um resin piece that i did on an mdf board and i did it for a very good friend of mine um, whose birthday is coming up so it'll be his birthday present but uh, i got a lot of feedback on this and uh, a few people were interested um, so if you are interested in this or any other team whatever um email me um canela at gmail.com um just email me and we can discuss so um, yeah, I, my wood guy can pretty much do almost anything. So if you're interested in anything in particular, just, uh, shoot me an email. Now, yesterday I was super busy, um, working on some resin commissions, some cut cutouts. So, um, I just wanted to show you them real quick, but, uh, here is my purple, um, seahorse. So my client wanted all purples trying to keep the reflection out of there. But uh, I just did it yesterday, so the tape is still on the back. I gotta peel that off, but I wish I could show this to you in the sunlight. I'll have to do it in the sunlight maybe tomorrow and you guys will see it in an upcoming video. But the seahorse is done. And then we have Mr. Crocodile. So this is pretty cool. So she lives in Florida. She is uh, one of my, not one, my best client um, who has been so supportive so she's got the crocodile and uh right now last but not least for now one of my favorites is this palm tree look at the palm tree i'm so happy with the way this palm tree turned out um i just love the palm tree it is super cool so if anyone is interested in any of these cutouts or a special cutout of your own whatever you have in mind I am taking um, commissions again. I had to put a stop on it so that I could catch up. I'm still a little behind, but um, if you are interested in any cutouts, um, just email me, let me know what you have in mind, or if you want like a palm tree or anything that I've already currently done, um, just shoot me an email and let me know. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about crystal resin. I've been getting lots of emails, lots of uh, you know comments and messages, um, saying, hey, crystal resin won't ship to the U.S. Um, they will be shipping to the U.S. starting in August. Um, due to COVID, they had to, you know, stop that shipping for now. 
um, but I have spoken to the owner and he said that they will open up shipping to the US um, mid first two weeks of August, somewhere around there. I'm not sure on the date, but be patient if you are interested in getting crystal resin. Um, it will be available to ship in the US. And from what I heard, I think he's also putting up all the pigments as well. So the powders that you use in order to put in the resin, to tint the resin. Um, so that will be available on the website as well. So just be patient. When I have more information, I will let you guys know. Um, last but not least, to those of you who have headed over to my son's YouTube channel. Um, I mentioned it in the last video and I'm going to mention it again because it just keeps going higher and higher and the support just becomes greater and greater. Um, to everybody who has headed on over, subscribed to his channel, I think he has over 700 subscribers within the last week. Like, it's amazing. And the, the donations people are giving is crazy. Um, we set up a, a wish list for him. There were a, quite a few people who said, recommended and said, hey, you know what? You should set up a wish list for your son. So we did. We sat down, we created an Amazon wish list for the US, UK and Canada. And people have been graciously heading on over and purchasing something from his wish list and then it gets directly sent to us. So he is like a kid at Christmas waiting for these packages to arrive. Um, he continues to do his train videos. He said to me the other day, he says, Mommy, I have so many comments on my videos, I can't even keep up. And I started laughing and I said, how many you got there about? He's like, I don't know, about 100, 200 comments. I said, buddy, Mommy gets like over five, 600 comments. He goes, I don't know how you do it. I said, I don't know how I do it either, but you got to. So um, he's starting to realize how much work it is. And you know what? He's not complaining. He's actually up for the challenge. So to everybody who has headed over and commented, like I read all those comments. Like you can see, I, I, I click like on all of them. I give it the thumbs up. But for I can't believe you, you guys go to his channel and take the time not to write, hey, good job, Lucas but like sentences and like sometimes even a paragraph of like, oh, when I was a kid or when my husband was a kid, we had this and we had that. And you know, my father was a train conductor and I'm like, just to take the time and write all that means the world to me. And I know it means the world to him. So thank you guys so much for all of that. Um, it really is amazing because as I said, he's not gaming anymore. He is not on electronics 24 seven. He is at grandma's house, which grandma could not be happier about, um, but he's at grandma's house and he's playing with his trains. He's trying to figure out how to make his new track. He's trying to, you know, do all that stuff, right? So thank you guys for supporting him and supporting my family, you know, not just, you know, Lucas, but Juno and Echo's channel too. Like this is a whole YouTube family now, right? So thank you so much for all of that. So let's get down to painting um, and we'll get started and um, that's it. So thank you guys. We'll, I'll be right back after this. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so you're probably wondering, hey, what happened to the unbleached titanium or orange? Um, so I do, as I mentioned in my last video, um, I do have to work on commission pieces um, in between my actual um, YouTube videos. Um, but because I only have such limited space, so as you know, I just showed you all the resin pieces that were on that side of the table. Um, I, I only have two tables, so um, I don't like moving my canvases when they're wet to my drying rack because if there's any sort of chance that it's not even or level, sorry, um, it'll ruin the painting. So I always just leave it here. So because of that, um, I have to work every couple of days on doing a painting and because of that, um, I really need to work on some commissioned pieces for my clients. Um, I have quite a few I need to do. Um, that periwinkle um, piece I did uh, ended up being so popular. Um, not only did it sell right away, um, I had about 20 people email me um, requesting to purchase it and because it's already been sold, um, I have uh, five commissions now to do. I got paint on me. 
to do the periwinkle um, pores. So I got a lot of work ahead of me and I'm so grateful. Thank you to everyone who has commissioned a piece, but I do have to work on commission pieces in between. Um, so just to let you guys know, the um, unbleached titanium, which is right here, this, this is by far the clear winner um, for the next video. So it will be um, ivory. So stay tuned for that. I've got some great color ideas um, for that piece. I cannot wait to do it. Um, like I said, it, it won by a long shot and luckily so because um, I went to Michael's and to Curry's, which is another art store here where I live. And uh, the paint selection was bare, minimum, um, and I couldn't even get any orange. So I had to order it online and God knows when that's gonna arrive. So um, it's gonna be ivory in the next video. Now for this piece, I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas and my client had seen my video number 120 from way back in the day. Um, and she really loved the colors and she wanted me to do the exact same piece. The difference being way back then, I was flooding my colored paint with white and then I would blow the white over and then blow it out. Now I don't do that anymore. So it'll be interesting to see the difference between video 120, which I will link up here at the top. If you wanna click on it and check out one of my oldies, click on the little white bar that pops up at the top and then just to see the difference between flooding with colors, uh, with white paint, sorry, and then not flooding the colors with white paint and see the outcome. So the colors I will be using today are Thalo Green by Grumbacher, followed by Cadmium Yellow Light Hue by Liquitex Basics, and we have Cadmium Green Hue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, and then we have Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Those were the original colors in video 120, but I have decided to add a smidge of the 24 karat gold. D, if you're watching, I hope that's okay with you. I decided to take an executive decision and add the gold in there because I think it's really gonna add a lot of shimmer to it. So, and it really looks good with these colors. Like, I mean, look at that, it looks really awesome. So let's get started and see what comes about. Um, today, like I said, is our first cloudy day. Now in video 120, I went just all the way across, straight line all the way across. So this time I'm going to change it up and we'll go up and up, up and down and up. I don't know. I'm always doing different squiggles. So we shall see. Um, oh, I should also mention these beautiful Loli Veffy bottles. Okay, you guys all know the Loli Veffy mats. Um, you can see here the Loli Veffy under here somewhere. Yep. So Loli Veffy mats um, and the Loli Veffy bottles. Um, also, I showed you guys in a previous video these cute little containers um, where I store any excess paint that I've mixed. Um, these are also on the Loli Veffy website as well. Um, I have news. So, sorry, this is going to pause for a minute. The Loli Veffy mats, if you want a silicone mat, which I also use on my drying rack, um, which are amazing because I used to use newspaper and the bottom of the push pins would stick to the newspaper and make such a mess. So the mats, the jumbo and the mega mat, you can save $5 off the mat if you use code Canela 5 Now, Adriana, the owner, has added so many new things from silicone molds to, to the bottles, the squeeze bottles, to all kinds of stuff on her website. So because of that, we have come up with a new discount code. If you are interested in buying anything else on the website, you can use code CANELA10 and that will give you 10% off your entire purchase. So you can't mix codes though. You can't mix the $5 mat code with the 10% discount code. You're either getting $5 off the mat or you can buy a mat and accessories and bottles or whatever and then use the 10% code and get 10% off your total order. So that's all new and I'm very happy and excited about that. So that way now you guys can save 10% off the entire website. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. It's lowlyveffy.com. The information is listed in the description below. 
So then that way you can use whatever you want and just use code Canela 10 and get a discount. So I thought I'd mention that because that just became active the other day. Um, and I'm very excited that you guys get to save some cashola. All right. And that green while I talk sure spread out quite a bit. It's so pretty though. It reminds me of Jamaican colors. That's really neat. All right. Moving along, I'm going to add a little bit of gold. Did I shake this? Yes, I did. Okay, and if you are interested, um, I didn't mention, I obviously flooded my canvas with um, my white flow acrylic paint mixed with flow troll and water. And if you are interested to know how I mix all of these and my ratios, check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top. Click on the link. It'll take you to the video where I discuss and show you guys how I mix my paints. Jeez, I'm doing everything out of order today. All right, last color. This looks super cool. And that is a lot of paint, but that's okay because I'm not flooding my white uh, over the colors anymore. So here's my squiggles. Now, because I'm up high here, I'm gonna bring it down, bring it up, bring it down, and so on and so forth. I'm going to think about it as I go and not rush into uh, blowing everything out. So let's get started and see what we end up with. Uh, it's always hard to start this way. Let's let's go. It's so hard working um, with my left hand. It's just, I'm so, I feel so odd when I blow down that way. But I love the way this turned out and I love the colors. I'm so glad I added the gold in there. So, so happy I added gold. Oh, it's so pretty. Now I'm trying to think about my old piece and what the difference is. Like, I mean, obviously it went in a straight line, but I'm really loving the colors on this. And it's been so long since I've used white as a base for my Dutch pores. And I could tell the paint was so much more fluid than when I use the two paint as opposed to the flow. Because this stuff is a lot more fluid than the stuff in um, the tube, the bottles here. But uh, as I'm talking, the cells are forming. I'm going to blow this side over so that it matches with this side that's blown over. Perfect. And I'm just gonna touch up my corner here because I like the corners to be covered just with my finger, just dab it. So that's pretty. All right. Wow, it's actually really neat. I really like the colors. And I like how it went over over there, but on this side it didn't, at least not yet. Like, I mean, the paint will still continue to move as it's drying, but I don't think it should, you know, run over the edge over here. It shouldn't, but you never know. I'm loving all this. Okay, so let's see if I want to torch it anywhere. Uh, I don't, I don't think I do. I don't think there's anywhere really to torch it, to be honest with you. There's no white petals. I really like this. Almost kind of looks like a frog over here. All right, I, you know what? No, nope, I'm not torching it. There's nothing to torch, so that's it. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up, and you guys can let me know what you think. Be right back. All right, guys, so here it is. And I think I'm going to continue to always do um, a version of studio lights on and then studio lights off because I really do think it makes a difference. So uh, here it is. And I forgot to mention the other green piece I did with the lime green background pour. Um, that is dry. It just needs a coat of resin. And I will show you guys that one. And that piece has sold. Um, so yay. Thank you. 
um, to the awesome client who purchased that for me. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys that piece hopefully in the next video as well if I get time to uh, to resin it soon. So here it is, and this is where I see a face. Um, I see an eye, nose, and a mouth. It's kind of like Frogman. <laughs> That's what I see. Anyone else see anything in this painting? Um, probably. It's amazing to see what, uh, to hear what people see in my paintings. So there it is with the studio lights on. I'm going to turn the studio lights off and we'll take a better look at it. Be right back. Okay, so here we are with the studio lights off. And you can really see the difference. Once this gets a coat of crystal resin, it is going to be beautiful so once again this piece is a commissioned piece so it is not for sale but if you are interested and you really love it I can make you another one so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to be part of the giveaway which will be announced in a couple of days stay tuned that's so pretty Stay tuned for the next video, which will be the unbleached titanium. Um, I'm very excited about that because I have some seriously great color combos in mind. I cannot wait to execute that. So again, if you're interested in any commissioned pieces, if you are interested in any of the wood pieces or the steelers or anything like that, please email me canelaseraco at gmail.com. And that's it, guys. Here's to 100K. I'm almost there. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you so much for watching Lucas's channel, Juno and Echo. You guys are a part of my family now. So, you know, thank you so much for everything you guys do. Until the next one, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.